Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today we are gonna be taking a look at my Linux laptop boot and power optimization. So let's get started. So what I'm going to be showing you guys today is my Linux laptop power and boot optimizations just so you can get the most out of your battery and the boot times. Now what I won't be covering today is hibernation even though that's a very important piece for your laptop setup. Uh, the reason why I won't be covering it because there are so many ways to enable it in Linux and it doesn't come enabled by default. So what I mean by that is depending on your distro and your desktop environment there's different ways to set it up like if you have Arch Linux on GNOME or Ubuntu on KDE there are different settings to enable hibernation. So you can actually Google that and figure out which method you need to turn it on. Now, why is it so important is because when you close your lid and you get that suspend state, it's really nice that you could open up the lid and it turns back on in one second. But keep in mind that the state of your computer gets stored onto the RAM and RAM requires power to keep its memory. So even if you have the lid closed, you are still draining the battery. As for hibernation, it will take the state of your computer actually store it into your swap drive, which is your hard drive. So it actually will completely power down your computer and you won't be using up any battery. So hibernation is very important in a laptop state. With that being said, I actually don't use it. Um, I get it to a point where I could boot up my computer fast enough and I really don't use hibernation. I just shut down my computer by pressing the power button and closing the lid. Or if I really needed to move my computer from one room to another, I don't mind the suspend state for that couple of seconds that I'm moving it around. That's just how I use my laptops. But in all honesty, hibernation is very useful. So let's just jump into it. So here we have my uh, default state, which is XFCE or Xubuntu. Um, I actually added some uh, blur into it, so I'm working on this new uh, thing. So it's actually pretty cool. But anyway, uh, the first thing you want to do is optimize your boot. So you can get into your computer as fast as possible when you power on your machine. So to do that, you would have to analyze the system on what's slowing down your boot process. So you could do, let me make this bigger. You could do uh, sudo systemd analyze, and you could actually find out how long it takes you to boot into your user space. Now, originally it was around like 11 seconds for me, but I started this process and I was like, oh wait, I should make a video out of this. So I'm up to three seconds right now just to get into my user space. Now to analyze that, you would do sudo systemd analyze and then type in critical chain. Now critical chain will actually tell you which service is actually slowing down your system. And as you can see, uh, one of the services that's appealing right now is um, SnapD. So if you don't use SnapD, you could disable the service. You could save yourself almost one second off the boot up time. So that's just something that you would need to know if you're gonna use or not. Now I am using SnapD, so I would have to keep that extra one second or 820 millisecond. But to disable a service, you would have to do sudo system ctl disable and then you type in the service name so if it's like snapd it would actually have snapd and then you just type in service and you would disable it like i said i'm using it right now so i'm not going to be able to disable it but that's how you would disable one of your services once you're done with that you can reboot the computer and then run the system analyze again and it'll tell you how much time it took you to reach your user space and you're going to notice how fast it boots now this computer boots up so quick that i'm not even able to see plymouth recorded down onto the system so that's going to help you get into your laptop as fast as possible now another thing you want to do as far as power optimization is go into your bios and start disabling anything that you don't use uh, for my laptop the things that i would disable is the fingerprint scanner and ethernet if i'm not using ethernet now if you don't know what the hotkey is and to get into your bios there's a quick little trick that you could use is sudo system ctl reboot and then you could go into firmware setup once you hit that it's actually going to pop you right into your bios so you don't have to like figure out if it's the delete key or f1 or f2 now just be careful when you're here because there are chances that you could disable something you don't want but in here, you could actually just change to certain modes that you want or disable certain things. So you're going to have to go through each prompt and each laptop has a different way of how it looks. So you have to go into each menu and start disabling stuff if you don't need it. Now that we're back in, there are a couple of things that uh, we could use to optimize the battery performance, which is uh, PowerTop and TLP. I use both 
TLP as my main service where it manages my battery and PowerTop to give me all my statistics. So that works that way. But a lot of people swear by uh, PowerTop and you could use PowerTop as a service, but I find that PowerTop on boot up delays my boot up by like two to three seconds. So I don't really use PowerTop as a service versus TLP. Even though they both could do similar things, uh, I think PowerTop might be a little bit more powerful because you're actually able to disable PCIe lanes that you're not using. So to get that, all we have to do is sudo app install TLP and PowerTop. Now I already have both of them installed, so it's just gonna go through this. Now to check out what I'm talking about, uh, all I have to do to enable TLP is sudo system CTL enable TLP. This will actually turn on the system using TLP and it'll be able to manage my battery more efficiently. And I'll show you guys in a second what I mean by power management. Now, if we head over to PowerTop, this is really cool. You actually could be able to see everything that's processing, how much power you're using. Like you see SM bus is actually using 3.8 watts while my tick scheduler timer is only using 367 milliwatts. Um, my idle state, frequency status, device status, it's actually using 5.3 watts. And yeah, you, you basically get to see all the stats using PowerTop itself. Now, Turnables is where you can actually disable all these PCIe things, or VM right back. Anything that says bad is actually draining battery that doesn't do anything for the laptop other than performance gain. So if you are trying to save more battery power at the cost of performance, you could actually enable or disable these things just like that. And then um, these are all disabled already because I turned on TLP, but you could see that they have like wake stake for wake status for USB device. And if you are the type of laptop user where you have a USB mouse or USB keyboard, you might want to keep that enabled. So like I said, default options might be different for you because you might use certain things that I don't use. But in most cases, I'm using the touchpad, so I don't need a USB mouse, so I don't need the wake status for them. While I'm able to actually configure the stuff on PowerTop, uh, it's only current state. Um, what I mean is like, if I reboot, PowerTop won't survive that because I don't have it as a service. But I am able to actually go into PowerTop just to look at what my milliwatts are and what's using power and stuff like that. So I could later go into TLP and disable if I want to. Now, TLP has a setting file. So if I go into sudo, nano etc tlp config here's the default setting files and you can see like what i mean by default even if you don't enable certain things like tlp enabled default is enabled by itself so i don't have to uncomment certain things so this whole document is commented out even though uh, a lot of default state is already taken action now, it is hard to understand what everyone does. It does give you little tips. So what I would actually recommend is using this software called TLP UI. And you could actually go over to a GitHub. I'm gonna open up my browser. And right here, I'll leave a link down in the description for below for this. D4NJ1 TLP UI. And this actually gives you the GUI interface to actually configure your TLP UI. So as soon as you git clone it, so if I was to git clone and then download it, it will create this directory called TLP UI. And in here, that's the repository. All I have to do is Python 3-M TLP UI. And it'll give me a GUI interface on how to configure that exact same file that we were just looking at. And once you're done, you just hit the save file and you could just change whatever you want. Especially like something like processor, you could go into here and schedule it. So if it's like on AC, you might wanna change this over to performance. And then on battery, you might wanna change it to power save. Once you hit the save button, it's gonna write that file and it's gonna have that state. So those are the little things that I'm talking about that you could configure it through here and it'll actually give you little hints on what you wanna do. In worst case scenario, if you can't figure it out, you could always Google it. And that's just about it. Um, those are the things I normally do, which is uh, TLP, power save, disable stuff on BIOS, and optimize my boot. And then that's about it. And then I fine tune on each laptop. So if I know this laptop I'm gonna be using for specific reasons and I need a USB mouse, I would enable the USB wake feature or 
certain things like that. Another tool that I did not mention, which I recently discovered was called laptop mode tools. It was on the video where I did the deep in Linux, uh, laptop mode tools actually is like a TLP and you could install that, but it will overwrite the TLP. So you won't have TLP, but it also has a configuration utility. You might want to check it out. I'm not too familiar with it. So I don't, I didn't even put it in this video because I don't use it in general. But other than that, those are the two programs that I normally use TLP and Paratop along with the other configurations that I did just to optimize it. Quick, short, simple. If you guys have any questions or have any other ways that you optimize your systems, leave it down in the comments below. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say, my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.